What's good, TMG fam? It's your boy, Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute, man. Listen, comedy hour. Y'all need it. I know. I need it. Trust me, too. I need it. I need it, bro. Kids everywhere. Dad, 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 dad. Every five seconds. Like, yo, we're going to go stir crazy in here in a minute. I'm telling y'all, man. Like, it's going to be like a real live Hunger Games. We're going to start in here in a minute. I'm telling y'all, man. But nah, nah. We actually, we good. We having fun. And uh, tonight, man, Comedy Hour, man, I got the best. The best. Where you go. The best of Ricky Gervais, man, at the Golden Globes from 2010 to 2012. All right? So we're going to check that out. And then we got Ricky Smiley. Shout outs to one of the goats of comedy. Ricky Smiley, Lil Daryl. All right, so we're going to get into these two videos tonight. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, man, and lock in. Binge watch. I got plenty more in the stash. Go check them out, all right? Go through the channel. Let's go. Here we go. Let's start with Ricky Gervais. Yo, this dude here is a savage. And now, your host for the evening, ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Gervais. I'm surprised they let him do so many. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. And hello. And welcome to the 67th annual Golden Globe Awards, live from Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais. Um, yeah. Thank you. It's going to be a night of partying and heavy drinking. Or as Charlie Sheen calls it, breakfast. <laughs> On a serious note, just looking at all the faces here reminds me of some of the great work that's been done this year by cosmetic surgeons. Um, <laughs> you all look great. Tonight... <laughs> you know, some people wanted to smile, but they couldn't because of their surgery. <laughs> you get Britain's biggest comedian hosting the world's second biggest award show, on America's third biggest network. <laughs> Sorry, is it? It's four. It's four. <laughs> For any of you who don't know, the Golden Globes are just like the Oscars, but without all that esteem. <laughs> the Golden Globes are to the Oscars what Kim Kardashian is to Kate Middleton, basically. <laughs> A bit louder, a bit trashier, a bit drunker, and more easily bought. Um, allegedly, nothing's been proved. But it was a big year for 3D movies. Toy Story, Despicable Me, Tron. Seems like everything this year was three-dimensional. Except the characters in The Tourist. Um, I, I feel bad about that joke. I, no, no, I'll tell you why. I'm jumping on the bandwagon, because I haven't even seen The Tourist. <laughs> Who has? Um, but, no, <laughs> it must be good, because it's nominated. So shut up, OK? <laughs> and I'd like to quash this ridiculous rumour going round that the only reason The Tourist was nominated was so the Hollywood Foreign Press could hang out with Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie. That is, that is rubbish. That is not the only reason. They also accepted bribes. Yes. <laughs> I love the face cam when they, they, they put the camera on their face. Oh, I love that part, bro. Just to see your expression or lack thereof. Uh -huh. Ha, 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 warms my heart. No, all that happened was some of them were taken to see Cher in concert. How the hell is that a bribe? Really? Do you want to go and see Cher? No. Why not? Because it's not 1975. Please welcome the man who will wear literally anything Tim Burton tells him to, Johnny Depp. <laughs> Just for, I want to ask you a question. It's real. You can have some. Just checking. Yeah. Um, and be honest. No. Are you on recreational drugs? I'm joking. No, that's not the question. <laughs> and we all know the answer. Um, <laughs> have you... Ready? I, I guess so. Have you seen The Tourist yet? <laughs> have you? Uh, uh, 
no. <laughs> He's fun. Also not nominated, I love you, Philip Morris, um, Jim, Jim Carrey and Ewan McGregor, two heterosexual actors pretending to be gay. So the complete opposite of some famous Scientologist, then. Um, <laughs> probably. My lawyers helped me with the wording of that joke. <laughs> They're not here. I love Eddie Murphy, he loves dress up, doesn't he? Um, versatile, he's versatile, no he is. Bit of trivia for you actually, Eddie Murphy and Adam Sandler, between them, played all the parts in the movie The Help. Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> they were brilliant. I can't believe they're not here. Or maybe they are, they're masters of disguise, they could be... <laughs> <laughs> There's been some great new TV drama this year, like Boardwalk Empire and The Walking Dead. So, uh, yeah. I don't even want to hear that movie name right now, The Walking Dead. With everything we're going through right now, people need to just refrain from even speaking that title. Talking of The Walking Dead, congratulations to Hugh Hefner, who, uh, who's getting married at the age of 84 to 24-year-old beauty, Crystal Harris. Um, when she was asked why she was marrying him, she said, because he lied about his age. He told me he was 94. Oh, come on. Um, don't worry. Hold out and just, just don't look at it when you touch it. That's fine. <laughs> I like when he say something like that, like, listen, I warned him before I, hey, hey, they still wanted me to do it, so. Let's get on with it before NBC replaced me with Jay Leno. Uh, our first presenter is beautiful, talented, and Jewish, apparently. Mel Gibson told me that, he's obsessed. Um, please welcome Scarlett Johansson. How you doing, all right? <laughs> Cheers. Um, I've had a couple. I'm not going to lie to you. Now listen up. Um, I haven't offended anyone. I didn't mean, it's not my fault. There's a lot of powerful people here, so if I send, it's... <laughs> Honestly, I like a drink as much as the next man. Unless the next man is Mel Gibson. <laughs> Now, the Hollywood Foreign Press have warned me that if I insult any of you, or any of them, or offend any viewers, or cause any controversy whatsoever, they'll definitely invite me back next year as well. <laughs> they actually gave me a list of rules. I'm going to ignore them, but I thought it'd be good to read them out, OK? This is real, OK? No profanity. That's fine. I've got a huge vocabulary. No nudity. See, that's a shame, because I've got a huge <laughs> vocabulary. Um, but a tiny penis. No, that's true. Doesn't matter. I don't care. It works. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. I don't... I don't... No smut or innuendo. And I'm not to libel anyone. <laughs> and I mustn't mention Mel Gibson this year. Uh, not his private life, his politics, his recent films, and especially not Jodie Foster's Beaver. Um, I haven't seen it myself. Um, I've spoken to a lot of guys here, they haven't seen it either, but that doesn't mean it's not any good. The, uh, the next category contains a couple of legends, one of which we've already seen, Sir Paul McCartney, fellow Brit, so good luck to him. I shouldn't be biased, but uh, we actually came over on the same flight. I didn't get to speak to him because I was up the front in um, first class and he was behind me in coach. Um, <laughs> saving money. He spent an awful lot last year. 
I don't think you have to feel too sorry for him. He's doing all right. Oh, I think the creator of Facebook, of course, Mark Zuckerberg, is reportedly worth seven billion dollars. Heather Mills calls him the one that got away. Other celebrity scandal. Justin Bieber nearly had to take a paternity test. <laughs> what a waste of a test that would have been. <laughs> no, he's not the father. The only way that he could have impregnated a girl was if he borrowed one of Martha Stewart's old turkey basters. <laughs> Open wide. Um, <laughs> the serious bit now. Um, the Golden Globes is shown all over the world. It is oblivious to colour or creed. It doesn't just celebrate talent, it celebrates difference. It crushes prejudice and stereotype. One stereotype I hate is that all Irishmen are just drunk, sweary hell raisers. Please welcome Colin Farrell. <laughs> Please welcome Ashton Kutcher's dad, Bruce Willis. <laughs> but actors aren't just loved here in Hollywood, they are loved the world over because they're recognisable. You can be anywhere. You could be in the third world, okay, and you get a glimpse of a Hollywood star, and it makes you feel better, okay? You could be a little, a little child, a little Asian child, with no possessions and no money, but you get a, you see a picture of Angelina Jolie, and you think, oh, mummy. <laughs> Next up, Eva Longoria has the daunting task of introducing the president of the Hollywood Foreign Press. That's nothing. I just had to help him off the toilet and pop his teeth in. Um, it was messy. Please welcome Eva Longoria. OK, our next presenter is the Queen of Pop. Not you, Alton. Sit down. This is... She's all woman. I'll give you some clues. She's always vogue. She's a material girl. And she's just like a virgin. Please welcome Madonna! <laughs> I love this next presenter. He's so cool. Um, he's the star of Iron Man. Two girls and a guy. Wonder Boys. Sorry, are these porn films? What? <laughs> kiss, kiss, bang, bang. <laughs> Bowfinger. Really? Yeah. Up the Academy, come on. He has done all those films, but many of you in this room probably know him best from such facilities as the Betty Ford Clinic and Los Angeles County Jail. Please welcome Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> I can't wait to introduce our next presenters. It's Salma Hayek and Antonio Bandera, so you can see why I'm excited. I've loved their work for many years, and I just got to talk to them for the first time, so I'm made up. Um, they're ridiculously gorgeous specimens. They're extremely talented and probably very interesting. I'm not sure, because I can't... <laughs> Please welcome <laughs> Salma Hayek and Antonio Banderas. <laughs> Our next presenters are two of the funniest people in America. She stole the show on Saturday Night Live, then went on to create, write and star in her own show, 30 Rock. He was a jobbing actor career not going that well, if I'm being totally honest, who, who got his big break when I cast him in a remake of a show that I created called The Office. He's now leaving that show and killing a cash cow for both of us. Please welcome the wonderful Tina Fey and the ungrateful Steve Carell! <laughs> Nearly there, nearly there. Um, it's so good having a job where you can get drunk and say what you want. It's like, and they still pay you. It's just amazing for me. Um, our next presenter is British, like me. But unlike me, he's won an Oscar. Um, <laughs> for his brilliant portrayal in The King's Speech. He's also swooned over by women. I don't see it, I don't get it, but good luck to him. Um, He's also loved by the critics. Oh, good for him. But <laughs> what you don't know about him is he's very racist. <laughs> In private, I mean, really nasty stuff. He also, I've seen him punch a little blind kitten. <laughs> Please welcome the evil Colin Firth. <laughs> Our 
Okay. What can I say? Somebody gonna be really drunk one year and deck him in the mouth, man. And I hope they keep the cameras rolling. <laughs> but he's still my guy, bro. I love Ricky Gervais. About our next two presenters. The first is an actor, producer, writer, and director whose movies have grossed over three and a half billion dollars at the box office. He's won two Academy Awards and three Golden Globes for his powerful and varied performances starring in such films as Philadelphia, Forrest Gump, Castaway, Apollo 13, and Saving Private Ryan. The other is Tim Allen. <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> Last year, our next presenter won both the Golden Globe and the Oscar for her brilliant performance in Black Swan. This year, she took some time out to have a baby. Consequently, she's been nominated for nothing. <laughs> but really pathetic. But she's learned that valuable lesson that all you already knew, never put family first. <laughs> Please welcome the very foolish Natalie Portman. Thank you very much. That's about it. Um, well done. Justice there. Thanks to everyone in the room for being good sports. Thanks to NBC. Thanks to Hollywood Foreign Press. Um, thank you for watching at home. And thank you to God for making me an atheist. Thank you. <laughs> what? Even his clothes out. <laughs> Even his clothes out is crazy, man. Oh, bro. Ricky Gervais, man. Like, we need guys like that. We need people that just disrupt the natural order of things, man. I, I love that. I love that. Let's keep it moving, though, man. Next, coming to the stage is the funny, talented Mr. Ricky Smiley. Little Daryl. Let me do this for y'all. Y'all down. Wait, let me tell y'all something. This is true. Ladera, Ladera is true. I didn't make that up. That ain't no joke. That's real. Ladera, go to, went, he go to my school. We went to the same elementary school. I ain't lying. Now, this is how I met Ladera. Now, you know, his teacher and my teacher were best friends. He was in the special ed. So his teacher got sick one day, and his teacher asked my teacher, would she watch her students? So she got the little toys and stuff together and brought them all around there to the class. And you know how you had an empty desk sitting behind you? And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do a demonstration where I got my good friend, Damon Williams, very funny comedian from BET Comedy and Def Jam. Come on out, Damon, come on, show us some love. Come on, y'all, show Damon some love. Yeah, all right, Damon, you me. All right, act like you sitting up here doing your work. And little Daryl, you know, cause he sat, he sat, he's, he sat right behind me, so act like you're doing your work. So, shh, so you know, this, this is how it went down, because he started asking me questions. If he didn't ask me 100 questions, he didn't say nothing to me at all. <laughs> I'm sitting down trying to do my work, and he, he go, you know. <laughs> What's your line? <laughs> My name is Ladell. <laughs> is that your class? <laughs> is that your teacher over there? <laughs> you howl. <laughs> you howl. I'm so hard. <laughs> oh, man. Do we all go to lunch? <laughs> we went to lunch yesterday. <laughs> Why well, you gotta breathe in right before you talk like that, man? <laughs> That's what be getting me too plus the look on his face, bro. We had some hamburgers. 
French fries, fruit cup, and we drunk some milk. <laughs> You put it. <laughs> you about to say, excuse me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Y'all get it. Y'all get it on the back. Oh, man. Lil Daryl, bro. Lil Daryl was hilarious when he created that person, man. Oh, my gosh. Listen, y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think, man. And uh, I appreciate y'all, too, man. I be seeing the love telling me, man, the videos is getting y'all through the day, man, getting y'all through the night and uh, keeping your mind off of it, man. So I appreciate you guys as much as you appreciate this. It's your boy L. To the next reaction, man. I'm out. Peace. Y'all stay solid. Hey.